Senior Corn Pondu here. Welcome back to another video. Hi, I know it's been a little while. I know this isn't Chantal and Slash or Amber or Candy. I know, I know. I have a little bit I have a little bit of a backstory why we're here. Okay, so since Chantal's been a little bit MIA, I thought I would spice things up and try to maybe introduce some new you know, new people to my channel. Why not? At this point, Chantal is so mundane. <laughs> Probably do a lot of us some good to have a nice little palette change every now and then. So, I, I know what you're thinking. Who is this? Why are we here? Well, a <laughs> little bit of a backstory. During Chantal's last live stream, right? This was her last live stream, the three-hour one. Um, And a, a name kind of stuck out to me, right? We're just like, oh. Oh, okay. So, just let me just play it real quick. Eat with Riley! <laughs> Welcome to Very Important Beezers, Riley. Ready, set, bees. <laughs> and so with that, I was like, oh, eat with Riley now. Really? And that kind of sounds like she has a channel. Let me let me just be a little bit nosy, see what she's about. And um, she was chatting in the chat for a while. I, I double-checked. She was chatting for a bit. And here we are. So I kind of just chose... One at random. This one is called I'm "Trying That Word." Chicken Ultra Gourmet Burger for the first time with fries and mozzarella sticks. Mukbang. So, let's see what um Riley, I suppose, has to say today, shall we? It sounds very weird not saying what Chantal has to say for once. I will say. Keep all the internet. It's your girl Riley here, and today I'm having Shatir chicken. But they sell other things too, like burgers and wraps. So I got me a ultra gourmet burger. I've never had their ultra gourmet burger before. I also got some fries and some mozzarella sticks. Unfortunately, they don't sell marinara sauce. What's the point then if they don't sell like marinara sauce, really? I mean, like, come on. They got to do better at that place. They don't even know what that is in this country. Like I said to my husband before, one time I had mozzarella sticks, I was like, no, it has marinara sauce. And he's like, what is marinara sauce? And I was like... Ah! <laughs> well, at least I got a Pepsi, right? <laughs> so I'm going to put my Pepsi. This is what the box looks like. Shatir chicken, fried chicken, and more. What, what's the and more part? Is it like more chicken stuff? Or is it like things other than chicken? I'm gonna, like, hurt my brain if I try to think about that for too long. I'm just gonna press play. <laughs> I'm just very concerned. Is it, like, is it, like, the mysteries of the world? Is it more chicken stuff? Is it, like, beef stuff? Is it just strictly chicken? Anyway, pressing play. Oh, I also lightened my hair. I hope you guys like it. I do it myself. I dye, cut my hair all my own. Oh, whoa, it comes in a wrapper. Okay, I was not expecting that big of a... Bar or like that big of a burger coming out of that like box <laughs> it's like a TARDIS or something my god I was just like oh, okay it might be halfway you know like normal size nope that's like three times as big as I thought it was going to be my god let's try not to make it okay so it, it pretty much looks identical to a Big Mac but like gourmet Big Mac if Big Mac actually and I don't know. It's like if if a Big Mac went to Target instead of Walmart. That's what this is giving me. I'm not complaining about it. it looks delicious. Oh man, it looks so good. Okay, let's get into this. The sauce from like a Whopper. Mmm. -mm. Really, I I would have thought it would taste more like a Big Mac because that 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 doesn't scream like a Whopper to me. But yeah, I've again never tried it. Could be wrong, but. Oh man, how am I gonna do this? This is messy as shit. I don't know, there's caramelized onions on it too. Fried onions. It's so messy. Here we go. Maybe I'll show you guys some up. Okay, oh. also girl, like, where's your napkins at? Come, come on. Like, if you know it's gonna be messy, or at least, you know, prepare a few napkins to be available, or like a dishcloth, something, anything. And a mozzarella stick. I love me some mozzarella sticks. Oh, there ain't that much of a cheese pool. It's okay. I'm not good without marinara sauce. I mean, I miss sauce, but they're still good. I mean, at the same time, though, girl, you can make marinara sauce, I'm sure. I've never, I've never made it myself. I've made homemade tomato soup before. That's pretty simple. I mean, if tomato soup can be made, I'm sure marinara sauce probably isn't that much more in-depth. Like, try it. Might as well. 
It's a messy burger. Like, I wish I could show you guys, but it's just so heavy and messy. I mean, same. <laughs> I'm fat, what can I say? And it's very cheesy. Maybe you can see the onion now. Look at all that cheese and sauce. Oh, man. It's a sloppy burger. Oh, we didn't see nothing. It was out of focus. I wanted to see, but, but I guess we'll never see it. I'm so sad. Uh, I bet you anything it was going to be glorious and focus, but we will never know. It's just a tragedy. It's one of those burgers you have to eat at all ends. Girl, that's what I'm saying, too. <laughs> I need me a man to to do exactly that. Just, it's so hard. <laughs> I do, I'm sorry. And it's real beef. It doesn't taste like an artificial burger. It's very smoky. It always tastes like it's grilled or something. Girl, aren't most hamburgers grilled? And also, like, artificial? Do you mean, like, a veggie burger? Like, or do you mean, like, like McDonald's to where it's, like, beef, question mark? It has like beef marks and stuff, but like it, you can't really tell that it is. It's meat substance. Okay, now, now I want McDonald's. Dang it. This is why. <laughs> Anyways. Tomato. And the bread has like little seeds and stuff on it. There we go. Ooh, that does look really good. And like I've said before, I love garbage food. This looks like higher class target level garbage food, but still looks good nonetheless. And then I got a little mayo for my fries. Mm. Oh, I completely forgot that she got the fries. Is that mayo? I mean, I'm not, I'm also not just a mayo on fries, but at the same time, I would have at least maybe ask for a ketchup packet or three or five, you know, personally at least. Hope you're all doing very splendid today. Oh. I can't. Oh, I'm doing good girl, thanks. And then this is their fries, it's like ripples. You've oh girl, are you not gonna like, oh I, I hate when stuff is packaged like this and it has like that, when it's like flat and it's like not mixed up and it's just kind of, people that know what I'm talking about know. When you, like if you open up a yogurt or something and it's still like flat and kind of crusty on the, oh I hate it, I hate it more than anything. It, it's sort of kind of looking like that on the top girl, no, fix that. Mm -mm. Like I used to be a ketchup girl because I'm American, but ever since I came to Belgium and I started trying mayo on my sauce, because that's what they do here, Mayo on my sauce. Mayonnaise on my fries. I oh, and for a little bit of context, I did watch like a video two of hers um, before we got started because I, I got curious. I wanted to see what I was getting into. <laughs> but she moved here with her husband that's from Belgium and she's currently living in Belgium. Okay, great. You're all cut up. I just never went back to ketchup. And also mayo on fries does sound pretty good. Now I want fries. Dang it. <laughs> I love mozzarella sticks. Mm. Okay, something else I've noticed, man. Like, I, I know this is supposed to be a mukbang and whatever, but like, you, I, I feel like you're just like staring too much into the camera. Like, you're just kind of just hold on. Let me just show you guys what I mean, just for a second. This right here. And then stare. Still staring. Like, I've noticed it a few times, and I just, once you see it, you can't unsee it. <laughs> a little bit nit nitpicky, yeah, but it's just like, I feel like you're staring into my soul, and oh my goodness. Watch me eat this. Watch me eat this. <laughs> that, wa watch me eat this mozzarella stick with no marinara sauce. Watch me do it. Watch me do it. That's what. <laughs> Again, nitpicky, but at the same time, kind of funny. So filled with cheese. I like when they're fat like that. I would sure hope so, because it's, what do we call the mozzarella stick? Otherwise, it would just be a stick. There wouldn't be no mozzarella, unless if it's a different kind of cheese. But I would sure hope that there was cheese inside of a mozzarella stick. Sometimes you eat the mozzarella stick, you bite into it, it's like mostly air in the middle. <laughs> and there's like a little string of cheese. We've all had that mozzarella stick before, I think. I can't say I have. Not, none come to mind, really. Hmm. Yeah, no, even, like, the McDonald's one's pretty halfway decent. I miss those. That marinara was good. Again, I love garbage food, so... <sighs> Not surprising. But these are good. I wonder what it 
like it's like a mayo. Yeah, that's right. I'm putting mozzarella stick in mayo. Yeah, I was also thinking of that. Like, why? If you want something to dip it in, why not just use the mayo? Go, like, let us know how it is, okay? Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. That mm -hmm. was surprisingly good. Wow. Mm. Mm. This burger, though. I still haven't. It looks like I haven't even really touched it. <laughs> mm, well, um, sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Why are you so yummy? So yeah, it's a nice day today. Like, luckily this week has been okay. Cause I said it's like heck here. It gets really hot. There's no air conditioning and central air or anything in houses in this country. There's no window screens in this country. So luckily this week has been a little bit cooler. Like 70s, 26 Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius, 70 something Fahrenheit. I don't know. Well, girl, thank you for at least trying and slash giving us an estimate at least. More than a lot of people have done. <laughs> but it's been doable. And I think we're supposed to get rain today, although the sky looks so blue, so I don't know. I haven't even touched my Pepsi. I forgot what Pepsi tastes like. I know people are like, are you a Pepsi or Coke person? I like them both. I like them both. Yeah, same. Even though I prefer, like, diet variants and garbage, what can I say? I, I, I prefer Coke over Pepsi. Always have. If I could drink one thing, like, over everything, you know, Diet Dr. Pepper, I just, it's just so much better. I, I'm so sorry, but I said what I said. And, like, even, like, regular Dr. Pepper, if, like, diet wasn't an option for some reason, regular Dr. Pepper even, that's even good, so. I like what I like. What can I say? I grew up drinking both, so I don't really have a preference. And I need to get back on the treadmill. I haven't been on the treadmill for a few days. Because, like, I ended up getting... I mean, same and then some. <laughs> like, same. Like, same. But then, you know, on top of that, I add a, um, a lot more days for me, personally. And then, yeah, same. <laughs> this really big skin tag. And it's such sexy talk, huh? On my left inner thigh. Oh, my God. This is my TMI, but I've had one of those not too long ago. They are annoying. I know exactly what she's talking about, the pain that she's talking about. Girl, it's bad. It was so bad. Um, the more I walked and walked and walked, it got bigger and bigger. So it got so annoying. It started mm -hmm. looking like a freaking nipple, no joke. <laughs> so I bought a called cryo tag or whatever. Yep, I had the same exact thing happen to me. Exactly. Oh my god. Oh, that's funny. I had the exact same thing happen to me. You keep walking and walking until it gets too big, and then you have to get something to remove it. Yep, exact same thing. It's like ice freezing to like remove it, and they said that like it gets sore. It will end up getting sore and stuff. The area, and it could take 14 days to fall off or whatever. I don't know. So. It's been really sore. Like, I'm walking like a crab in my house right now. So I can't get on a treadmill right now. And it's, like, really upsetting me. Like, I want the freaking tag to fall off. Oh, really? I did the one where, like, you, like, freeze it instantly. And it's kind of gone. I didn't... I just had to put a band-aid on it for, like, a day. It, it was fine. Still doing okay. But you have never heard of, about it, like... You having to wait for it to fall off? That's kind of odd, but you know, I might have read the, I might have read the, the directions wrong too. Like I don't care about little tiny skin tags; those don't bother me. But this thing was like this freaking long. Like I'm not even kidding. Mm -hmm. Same. You, I'm not even exaggerating on my inner thigh, and the thing's still there. I don't know how many days it's been. I kept zapping it and zapping it every two to three days, not knowing if I'm supposed to because it's in Dutch. Or French and German or something, the instructions were. But girl, why, why not ask your um, husband that speaks the language over there? I don't know exactly what language. Like, am I even going to pretend to be smart for a minute and be like, you know what? I'm going to Google something stupid. Hold on. French, Dutch, and uh, German are the languages. So, yeah, girl, why not just ask, like, a neighbor, like, your husband... Google Translate. Um, yeah, why not just ask them? I find that kind of odd, but uh, okay. Oh, also, Google is a thing? Why not just ask Google? Girl, don't, like, you know, hurt yourself. That's not good. But I was kind of zapping the heck out of it, but now it's so sore. And it's starting to shrink a little, so, like, it is, like, 
yellowy color around it, so I think it's gonna fall off any day now. Yeah, girl, I don't think that that's supposed to be yellow. That doesn't sound good. I don't think, at least, but... Just be careful is all I gotta say. Oh, I don't know. But, like, I really hope it does. I wanna record more, like, make more videos, but my life is, like, so boring. <laughs> I mean, girly, I've seen worse. I've seen more boring, trust me. I don't think you can shock us at any, at any point. I don't think you can. Like, I don't really leave the house. Same. Like, 99% of the time I'm at home with my cats and stuff. Same, minus the cats. And my fish tanks and sitting on my computer. Same. <laughs> hey, if you can't be honest with yourself, who can you be honest with? Honestly. Like, I only go out when I need to go to the store down the corner. <laughs> and I have, like, zero friends. Zero. Zero family here. Just me, Kristoff, two cats, and two fish tanks. Girl, why don't you, like, go out and try to make friends? Have your husband that's from Belgium tag along to maybe try to help translate a bit? Come on. Come on, why not? I mean, what's the worst that can happen? They they, they don't like you or they say no? So I'm, like, trying to think of, like, what other videos I can make. Like, I might, like I said, I might do a house tour one day. Even though there's really not much in my house. My house is small. It's a place that I rent. I don't own it. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Oh yeah, this burger is so good. Mm. <laughs> and the bread. Girl, what about the bread? Tell us all about the bread. It's like, I don't know, like buttery or something. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Mm. I, girl, I was expecting you to tell us all the secrets about this bread, and the only thing that you have to tell us about that bread is that it's buttery or something. I don't know, really. I'm really heartbroken. You gave my hopes up for that bread. Really. I wanted in exact detail like what makes that bread so mm, worthy and all i got was buttery you just broke my heart it's so sad and i will say this is also very weird having someone that actually has topics without having to think half the video will be like hmm hmm okay what can you talk about like girl you could have uh well, chantal could have thought about that before she started filming but you know she doesn't think that far ahead <laughs> Very odd to have someone that's constantly talking. I'm just like, ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's, ooh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Very refreshing, I will say. And apparently, Shatir chicken places like all over the world. Maybe there's a Shatir near you. You can try the ultra gourmet burger. It's so freaking good. I wouldn't say no to it. I mean, if it's if it tastes anything like a uh, Whopper, I'm sold. Just minus the uh, mozzarella sticks. Just the, nah, I mean, I, I I would probably order the fries or the mozzarella sticks, but out of the two, I'm ordering the fries. I, I can't do both. Mm. Mm? It is messy to eat, though, that's for sure. Girl, I hate to say it, girl, but we know. You've mentioned it like ten times in this video. I get it. I get it, it is messy. You're probably struggling to, to eat it on camera. I get it, but at the same time, we know. We know. It, it's messy. I, I I understand. I very much do, but at the same time, please stop mentioning about the fact that it's messy. We, we know. <laughs> mm. I don't know, I just felt like doing mm, opera. Mm. I mean, Phantom of the Opera, eat your heart out if I ever say so myself. Am I right? Come on. Think of me, think of me fondly when we say goodbye. <laughs> I'm, that's the only song of that of that entire uh, musical I know. Slash movie. Only song. Wait, no. Uh, the, like the theme song. Oh, Phantom of the Opera is there. That song. That's the only two songs I know. <laughs> Anyways, nothing to do with the video. Just, you know, I, I like to add my own little commentary on top of it, I guess. I don't know what this is. Uh, anyways, continuing on. It's very filling as well. <laughs> but it's so good. Mm. Yeah, girl, don't over, um, don't overeat now. I mean, like, it might be good. Like, you can save it for later. It'll be fine. It might be a little bit mushy, but, like, overall, it, it'll taste the same. I promise. I'm happy it's real beef. Mm. You know, compared to all that fake beef that's been out there plaguing the lands of the fast food, it's been really rough, guys, trying to, trying to decipher which place sells real beef and which place sells fake beef. 
just be careful out there is all I gotta say. <laughs> I hate when burgers taste so artificial. This is fun. I didn't think I would uh, get such a kick about um, Mucklinger's mowing, but it's just like, you know, who can out opera who at this point? <laughs> oh, God. I'm so easily entertained. It's, it's a little bit shocking and concerning a little bit, but at the same time, I'm having fun. What can I say? I ate that whole burger. Mm hmm. <clears throat> this is literally all I'm eating today. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I hate to be that person, but at the same time, why do muck, like muckmongers like Amber and Chantal and people of that realm always have to be like, this is the only thing, guys, I'm eating all day. This is the only meal I've had. I haven't had anything since 7 o'clock this morning, and it's currently 2 o'clock in the morning the next day. Okay, love that for you. You could have eaten earlier, that's fine. You could eat less and whatever, but just... Something I've noticed, and I can't unsee it now. Every single mukmonger has to mention, like, the first meal of the day. I haven't eaten anything since 5 o'clock this morning, since I got up, and whatever. Anyways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Man. I don't know why mozzarella sticks are so good, but they're so good. I mean, it's breaded fried cheese. Essentially, kind of, you know, textbook. It's everything delicious, fried with cheese. Like, the best combo. Come on. Whew, I'm getting stuffed. Girl, quit eating. You don't have to finish it. It's fine. Leave the rest for later. This was a lot of food. I didn't think it was a lot. But eating that burger, it's like, holy heck, that was a lot of food. Like, it was a normal little... Oh, girl, that was a I ate too much, and this food's really good, so I'm going to keep eating. Burp kind of deep down, billowy. Girl, just stop. Please. I, I know that feeling. I know that burp. I, I know where you are right now. It's not worth it. Those extra few bites of mozzarella sticks really are not worth you feeling sick over. I promise you. I promise you. Burger. Like, I don't know, like a 99 cent burger from, like, McDonald's. I think I could have eaten everything, but that was a huge burger. Oh, it's getting cloudy. Maybe it will rain. I don't know. I think I'm going to eat the last mozzarella stick, and then I think I'm done. Too much food. That burger was, like, really huge. Like, as high as this was how that burger was. This is going to be mad if I, like, skip forward a bit, because I'm, I'm kind of... The, the burger's gone, ma'am. I'm sorry, to, I'm sorry to inform you. I'm very sorry to, like, point this out, but the burger's been gone now for a bit, and so I'm just going to skip forward a bit, so that way you're not talking about said burger anymore, because it, it's gone. Let, let's move on from the burger talk, please, okay? Very, very much appreciated. Thank you. Oh, ma'am. Okay, so it seems like we're just about done. I'm going to skip forward a bunch just to see if there's anything worthwhile. If not, I will be with you guys in just a moment. Oh, hi. This is me forgetting to record my outro. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.